Hey everyone, welcome back to a Polymonger tutorial. Today we'll look at a UVing tool called Stitch Selected. It's quite handy and this will only take a few minutes to show you and hopefully it'll improve your workflow. So I just have a regular Edible Poly Cube here. I'll, that'll just be for my demonstration of the UVing on it. Um, I'll just add a quick UV modifier. So unwrap UVW, click open UV editor, and now we have our UV editing um, panel. So by default, the cube has all the faces stacked on top of themselves. And now for cube, you can use different like cube maps and things like that if you want to have it set up in different ways. But this is just showing the stitch selected tool, so that's why I'll approach it in the way I'm about to show you. So say I have this face here and I just did a, a planar projection on it and I move it off to the side. You can see that whenever you select an edge, the corresponding edge will turn blue and that is the edge that is on this side here that connects together on the model and in general you want to try to weld faces or weld edges and vertices as much as you can especially in video games because every open UV is actually counted towards a vertice count in the game engine so it's a weird overhead that a lot of people overlook and if you know about it now that's a bonus so say you have this other face here and you want to move it here and stitch it all in one in one move and also try to keep these shapes as clean as they are so you maybe were spending a lot of time you made a nice little UV section over there you made a nice UV section here now you want to bring them together and so one way to do it is you can select an edge here just go to tool and then this one here called stitch selected and what you'll see is it'll move the second face that touches the uh, where the red is for the selection and it'll move them together, align them, and weld the vertices together all in one, one click. So as you can see, just go ahead and hit OK on that. You now have those two sections moved and welded together. So if I select here, if they weren't welded, just by selecting once like that, they would uh, have separated and you would see that the weld didn't work. And you can just go ahead and keep doing that throughout your entire UV. So here I can see that there's another corresponding edge, it's stitch selected, and it just snaps right to it. So again, here's another one, stitch selected, stitch selected, and stitch selected. And again, this might not be the best way to UV map a cube. I'm just showing you the, the way the tool works so that you can use it for more complex objects and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, ask questions. You can also follow me at The Polymonger on Twitter, and I hope to hear from you. Bye.